Transitioning now to a topic that sheds light on the darker side of fame, we'll be discussing the tragic stories of 30 celebrities who struggled with alcoholism and ultimately lost their lives to this deadly addiction. These individuals, known for their talent and charm, found themselves in a battle against alcohol that lasted for years. Take, for instance, the case of a talented and exciting actress who lost her life at the young age of 36. Despite her success, she was unable to overcome her addiction to alcohol, which had been a constant presence in her life since her teenage years. Or consider the case of a gifted writer who, despite his literary accomplishments, was unable to escape the grip of alcoholism. He passed away at the age of 60, leaving behind a legacy of brilliant works that continue to inspire readers to this day. These stories serve as a stark reminder that addiction can affect anyone, regardless of their success or talent. They also highlight the importance of seeking help and support for those struggling with addiction before it's too late. Join us as we delve deeper into the lives of these 30 celebrities, exploring their struggles with alcoholism and the impact it had on their careers and personal lives. Talula Bankhead, the renowned actress, was known for her vivacious personality and captivating performances. However, her life was marked by excessive drinking and drug use, which contributed to her tumultuous existence and health issues. Born on January 31, 1902, in Huntsville, Alabama, Talula was the daughter of William Bankhead, a prominent politician who later became Speaker of the House of Representatives. From a young age, Talula showed a keen interest in the performing arts, and her family encouraged her to pursue a career in acting. Talula's talent and charisma quickly propelled her to stardom, and she became a fixture in the New York and London theater scenes. She was known for her wit, style, and sex appeal, and her fans adored her for her bold and unapologetic personality. However, Talula's excessive drinking and drug use were also well known. She was notorious for her wild parties and public displays of intoxication, and her behavior often caused scandal and controversy. Despite this, Talula continued to work in film and theater, and she remained a popular and influential figure in the entertainment industry. Talula's substance abuse took a toll on her health, and she suffered from a variety of ailments throughout her life. She was hospitalized several times for alcohol-related illnesses, and she struggled with addiction for many years. Despite her personal struggles, Talula remained a beloved and respected figure in the entertainment industry. She continued to act and perform until her death on December 12, 1968, at the age of 66. Talula Bankhead's legacy is one of talent, charisma, and resilience. Despite her personal demons, she remained a force to be reckoned with, and her contributions to the world of entertainment continued to be celebrated and admired. David Cassidy, best known for his role as Keith Partridge in the popular 70s, show the Partridge family struggled with alcoholism and drug abuse throughout his life. Despite his charming on-screen persona, Cassidy's personal life was marred by addiction. In his later years, Cassidy's health began to decline, and he publicly attributed his struggles to dementia. However, it was later revealed that his issues were actually rooted in alcoholism. In 2017, Cassidy passed away due to liver and kidney failure caused by alcohol poisoning. Cassidy's untimely death sheds light on the seriousness of alcoholism and addiction, particularly in the entertainment industry. Despite his success and fame, Cassidy was unable to overcome his struggles with substance abuse. It's important to remember that addiction can affect anyone, regardless of their background or success. If you or someone you know is struggling with addiction, it's crucial to seek help and support. Cassidy's story is a reminder that, while celebrities may seem larger than life, they are still human and face many of the same struggles as the rest of us. His legacy serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of addiction and the importance of seeking help when needed. W.C. Fields was a comedian who was well known for his love of alcohol. His drinking habits were often humorously incorporated into his persona, making him a notorious figure in the world of entertainment. Born on January 29, 1880, Fields began his career as a juggler and vaudeville performer before transitioning to film and radio. Throughout his career, Fields was open about his love of alcohol, often making references to it in his work. He was known to carry a hip flask with him at all times and would often take sips between takes on set. Despite his heavy drinking, Fields was able to maintain a successful career, becoming one of the most popular comedians of his time. Fields' alcohol consumption was not without consequences, however. He suffered from a number of health problems as a result of his drinking, 
including liver disease and heart problems. Despite this, he continued to drink heavily, often joking about his habit in interviews and public appearances. In the end, Fields' love of alcohol may have contributed to his death. He passed away on December 25, 1946, at the age of 66, due to complications from a stroke. While the exact cause of his stroke is not known, it is believed that his heavy drinking may have played a role. Despite his struggles with alcohol, W.C. Fields remains a beloved figure in the world of comedy. His unique sense of humor and memorable persona have made him a lasting icon in the entertainment industry. His legacy continues to live on through his films and radio performances, which continue to entertain audiences today. Barbara Payton, the talented actress, found her life consumed by alcoholism, which ultimately led to her tragic demise. Born on November 16, 1927, in Cloquet, Minnesota, Peyton was destined for a life in the spotlight. She moved to California in her late teens, where she began her career in the film industry. Peyton's striking beauty and charisma quickly caught the attention of Hollywood's elite, and she soon found herself in high demand. She starred alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood, including Gregory Peck, Gary Cooper, and Burt Lancaster. However, despite her success, Peyton struggled with personal demons. She turned to alcohol as a means of coping, and her addiction quickly spiraled out of control. Her relationships became tumultuous, and her career began to suffer. Peyton's addiction took a severe toll on her health, leading to heart and liver disease. On May 8, 1967, at the age of 39, Peyton passed away due to complications from her alcoholism. Barbara Peyton's story is a tragic reminder of the devastating effects of alcoholism. Despite her talent and beauty, her addiction ultimately consumed her, leading to her untimely death. Her life serves as a cautionary tale, highlighting the importance of seeking help for addiction and the devastating consequences of leaving it untreated. Renowned actor William Holden's life was tragically cut short due to alcohol consumption. The Oscar-winning star, known for his roles in Sunset Boulevard and The Bridge on the River Kwai, reportedly fell and struck his head while intoxicated in his home in 1981. The incident led to an internal hemorrhage, ultimately causing his untimely death at the age of 63. Holden's struggle with alcohol was no secret in Hollywood, and his heavy drinking had been a topic of concern for many years. The post-mortem examination revealed evidence of his long-term alcohol abuse, which likely contributed to his fatal fall. Despite his personal struggles, Holden left an indelible mark on the film industry, with his talent and charisma shining through in every role he played. His legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. However, it's important to remember that excessive alcohol consumption can have severe consequences, as it did for this talented actor. Renowned actor Montgomery Clift was known for his powerful and emotional performances on the silver screen. However, behind the scenes, he struggled with alcoholism, which ultimately contributed to his untimely death at the age of 45. Born on October 17, 1920, in Omaha, Nebraska, Clift was drawn to acting from a young age. He made his Broadway debut at the age of 13 and went on to study at the prestigious Actors Studio in New York City. Clift's film career took off in the 1940s and 1950s with notable roles in films such as Red River, A Place in the Sun, and From Here to Eternity. His raw and intense acting style earned him critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. Despite his success, Clift struggled with personal demons, including a battle with alcoholism. His drinking intensified after a car accident in 1956, which left him with severe injuries and a dependence on painkillers. Cliff's alcoholism and drug use took a toll on his health and personal life. He became increasingly reclusive and struggled to maintain relationships. On July 23, 1966, Clift was found dead in his New York City apartment from a heart attack. Many speculate that Cliff's alcoholism and drug use contributed to his early death. His tragic story serves as a reminder of the devastating effects of addiction and the importance of seeking help. Despite his personal struggles, Cliff's impact on the world of acting is undeniable. His raw and emotional performances continue to inspire actors today, and his legacy lives on through his timeless films. The story of Montgomery Clift is a cautionary tale, reminding us of the dangers of addiction and the importance of seeking help when struggling with personal demons. Keith Moon, the drummer for the British rock band The Who, had a long history of alcohol abuse that ultimately led to his untimely death. For years, Moon struggled with heavy drinking, which caused a variety of health problems and personal issues. In an attempt to overcome his addiction, Moon sought medical help, 
and was prescribed medication to alleviate the symptoms of alcohol withdrawal. However, on September 7, 1978, Moon was found dead in his London home after accidentally overdosing on the medication. The loss of Moon was a devastating blow to The Who and their fans. Known for his wild and energetic drumming style, Moon was an integral part of the band's sound and stage presence. His unique approach to percussion, which often involved destroying his drum kit during performances, helped to define The Who's live shows and solidify their place in rock history. Despite his struggles with alcohol, Moon was a talented and influential musician who left a lasting impact on the world of rock and roll. His legacy continues to inspire new generations of drummers and musicians, and his contributions to The Who's music will always be remembered. The story of Keith Moon is a cautionary tale about the dangers of alcohol abuse and the importance of seeking help when needed. It serves as a reminder of the devastating consequences that can result from addiction and the need for proper medical care and support. Billie Holiday, born Eleanor Fagan on April 7, 1915, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, was a jazz singer who faced significant challenges with drug and alcohol abuse throughout her life. Her powerful and emotive voice, which she used to deliver soulful and poignant performances, was often overshadowed by her struggles with addiction. As a young girl, Holiday showed an early interest in music and began performing in nightclubs in her teens. She quickly gained a reputation for her unique vocal style and her ability to convey deep emotion through her songs. However, her success was accompanied by a growing dependence on drugs and alcohol. Despite her struggles, Holiday continued to perform and record music throughout the 1940s and 1950s. She released a number of successful albums, including Lady Sings the Blues and Solitude, and her music remained popular with audiences. However, her addiction took a heavy toll on her health and she was in and out of hospitals in the final years of her life. Tragically, Holiday's addiction ultimately proved to be fatal. She died on July 17, 1959, at the age of 44, from complications related to drug and alcohol abuse. Her death was a loss not only to the world of jazz, but also to the many fans who had been captivated by her unique voice and powerful performances. Today, Billie Holiday is remembered as one of the greatest jazz singers of all time. Her music continues to inspire and influence musicians around the world, and her legacy lives on through her recordings and the many tributes that have been paid to her. However, her life also serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of addiction and the toll it can take on even the most talented and successful individuals. Richard Burton, the renowned Welsh actor, struggled with alcohol throughout his life. This battle with alcohol led to a myriad of health issues and ultimately contributed to his untimely death. Burton's talent for acting was undeniable. He first gained recognition for his work in the 1950s, and his career continued to flourish for several decades. Despite his professional success, his personal life was marred by his addiction to alcohol. During the height of his career, Burton was known for his heavy drinking. He would often consume large amounts of alcohol while on set, and his drinking habits became a cause for concern among his colleagues. Despite attempts to get sober, Burton would frequently relapse leading to a cycle of addiction that would plague him for years. Burton's addiction had a significant impact on his health. He suffered from numerous health issues, including liver disease, heart problems, and memory loss. These health issues were directly related to his excessive drinking and contributed to his declining health in his later years. Despite periods of sobriety, Burton was never able to fully overcome his addiction to alcohol. His lifelong battle with alcohol ultimately led to his death in 1984. He was just 58 years old. Richard Burton's story is a tragic reminder of the devastating effects of addiction. Despite his immense talent and success, his addiction to alcohol overshadowed his life and ultimately led to his untimely death. His legacy as a talented actor will always be remembered, but his struggle with addiction serves as a cautionary tale for others. Renowned actor Oliver Reed was known for his powerful on-screen presence and charismatic personality. Born on February 13, 1938, Reed began his acting career in the 1960s and quickly became a household name. However, his life was tragically cut short when he died from a heart attack on May 2, 1999. Reed's death occurred after a heavy drinking session with reports of excessive alcohol consumption that day. The actor had a well-documented history of heavy drinking and it ultimately contributed to his untimely death. Despite his struggles with alcohol, Reed's contributions to the world of film cannot be overlooked. He appeared in numerous films throughout his career, including Oliver, 
The Three Musketeers and Gladiator. His performances were always memorable, and he left an indelible mark on the film industry. Reed's legacy continues to live on through his films and the memories he left behind. His talent and charisma will always be remembered, even as the circumstances of his death serve as a cautionary tale about the dangers of excessive alcohol consumption. The life and career of Oliver Reed are a testament to the power of talent and determination even in the face of personal struggles. His contributions to the world of film will never be forgotten and his memory will continue to resonate with audiences for generations to come. Errol Flynn, the swashbuckling actor known for his dashing on-screen performances, led a life off-screen that was equally captivating, albeit marred by his struggles with alcohol. Born in 1909, Flynn's early years were spent in Australia before he ventured to Hollywood in the 1930s. It was here that his film career took off, with his rugged charm and adventurous spirit making him a natural fit for leading roles in swashbuckling films. But behind the scenes, Flynn's lifestyle was taking a toll on his health. He was known for his heavy drinking, a habit that had begun in his teenage years and continued throughout his adult life. This excessive alcohol consumption contributed to a number of health issues, including a weakened heart. In 1959, Flynn suffered a heart attack while on a boat in Vancouver, Canada. Despite receiving medical attention, he was unable to recover and passed away at the age of 50. The heart attack was exacerbated by his long-term alcohol abuse, which had weakened his heart and left him vulnerable to such a severe medical event. Flynn's story is a cautionary tale about the dangers of excessive alcohol consumption. While he may have been known for his daring on-screen exploits, his off-screen struggles with alcohol serve as a reminder of the potential health risks associated with heavy drinking. Jimi Hendrix, the legendary guitarist, is often remembered for his incredible musical talent and innovative sound. However, his untimely death at the age of 27 is also a part of his story. Hendrix's mix of drugs and alcohol ultimately led to his demise. On September 18, 1970, Hendrix was in London, where he had gone to record a new album. That night, he went to a party and consumed a large amount of alcohol. He then returned to his girlfriend's apartment and took a massive dose of sleeping pills, hoping to get some rest. Unfortunately, Hendrix's mix of alcohol and sleeping pills proved to be a fatal combination. He became unconscious and later aspirated on his own vomit, leading to asphyxiation. Hendrix was found dead in the apartment the following morning. Hendrix's death was a tragic loss for the music world. His innovative guitar playing and unique sound had inspired countless musicians and fans around the world. However, his untimely death also served as a cautionary tale about the dangers of drug and alcohol abuse. Despite his untimely death, Hendrix's music and legacy continue to live on. His innovative sound and groundbreaking guitar playing continue to inspire new generations of musicians, and his influence can be heard in the music of countless artists today. In the end, Jimi Hendrix's story is a reminder of the dangers of drug and alcohol abuse, as well as the incredible impact that one person can have on the world of music. His legacy continues to resonate with fans and musicians alike, and his music will live on for generations to come. Veronica Lake, the actress known for her signature peekaboo hairstyle, faced a significant struggle with alcoholism that ultimately led to her tragic death. The glamour and allure of Hollywood can be overwhelming, and for Veronica, it seemed to fuel a dangerous habit. Born in Brooklyn, New York, in 1922, Veronica Lake began her acting career in the early 1940s. She quickly became a symbol of Hollywood glamour, captivating audiences with her unique beauty and charm. However, behind the scenes, her life was far from perfect. As her career progressed, Veronica's alcohol consumption increased, leading to a decline in her health and career. Her once flawless appearance became marred by the effects of her drinking, and her performances suffered. Despite her talent and potential, Veronica's battle with alcoholism made it difficult for her to maintain her status in Hollywood. Sadly, Veronica's struggle with alcohol led to her death in 1973. She was just 50 years old. The official cause of death was liver disease and acute hepatitis, both of which are common complications of alcoholism. Veronica Lake's story is a tragic reminder of the devastating effects of alcoholism. Despite her talent and success, she was unable to overcome her addiction, and it ultimately cost her her life. Her story serves as a cautionary tale for those struggling with addiction, highlighting the importance of seeking help and prioritizing one's health and well-being. Gig Young, born Byron Ellsworth Barr on November 4, 1913, was an accomplished actor who faced a tragic end. 
His life was cut short in a murder-suicide involving his wife, with alcohol and pills playing a significant role in his struggles. Throughout his career, Gig Young was known for his charismatic performances, earning him a reputation as a skilled and versatile actor. He starred in numerous films, including Teacher's Pet and Young at Heart, and even won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in 1969 for his role in They Shoot Horses, Don't They? Despite his professional success, Gig Young's personal life was fraught with challenges. He struggled with alcoholism, which ultimately contributed to his untimely death. In 1978, Gig Young and his wife, Kim Schmidt, were found dead in their apartment in New York City. It was later determined that Young had shot Schmidt before turning the gun on himself. The investigation into their deaths revealed that both Young and Schmidt had high levels of alcohol and prescription drugs in their systems. It is believed that their substance abuse, combined with other personal and professional stressors, led to the tragic events of that day. Gig Young's story is a sad reminder of the devastating impact that alcohol and substance abuse can have on individuals and those around them. Despite his many accomplishments and contributions to the world of film, his life was ultimately defined by his struggles with addiction.